couple of tips before you take your four screws out to release this. You have two more electrical connections here that need to be undone. Also you might want to try to keep your wires as close to the terminals that when you take them off from the top. This way when you get them back on you'll know where they go. Not that there's a lot of them but it makes things a little easier. You can see I have these off. And the last item is try not to use any more heat than you have to on here. There are electrical connections in the bottom and it is a possibility if you get too hot that uh, you'll melt the solder on the other side inside the can. And uh, you, that's something you can expect when you get it back on but then you have to re-solder these and uh, just want to take care and not put any more heat on there than you have to. So what we're going to do next is then uh, unsolder these two, drop the four screws out and uh, hopefully our can will come out. Okay, we have all the electrical connections off now. We have most all the screws out. It'll be our last screw here. And let's see if we can pull this out now. There we go. So our next step, now that we have it out, <laughs> is to go through all the multitude of screws that hold the cover off. And this will take off the bottom cover and the side. And then, uh, We'll check back in when that's done. Okay, get all the screws out. And now pull our covers off. Alright, actually the comes apart. Now we can look and see what we got in here. And just as I suspected, it does have the original micro molds. <clears throat> You'll see 2.05s. There's one right here, and there's one right here, and these got to go. So these will be the first two things that we'll replace. Now each one of these cans have the same setup, two in each, 2.05s in each. They all need to be replaced. So what we'll do is we'll work it out, we'll get these out of here, and we'll put some new .05s in. Interesting note here. A lot of these I've seen have dates in here. This one's dated 12 11 42. Well, we have our capacitors out. Here's the two micro mold capacitors. And we place them with a pair of O5s at 600 volt. A couple of tips in here. I learned this from experience. It's very tight working in here, especially trying to get the bottom lead on here come in through the bottom and then the top and what I've done in the past and I found out the hard way is working here I've actually pushed this coil tap down and it's shorted out here this is for your uh, C band and uh, also sometimes you have a chance of dropping some solder into the coil plates uh, also want to make sure that uh, your wires are back out of the way of your tuning capacitors here and any, other, any components are out of the way so you have full 360 degree adjustment on them. So basically just go back, just make sure you check your work, check that you haven't moved anything into a, the way of something else. And you're pretty much done. What you want to do then is just reverse these steps, put the covers back on, put it back in, and uh, then you can proceed your other two. Uh, a couple other tips I'll give you on this. Obviously you want to go and replace all your capacitors. A couple of important ones that you want to do are uh, an audio capacitor back here. You take the 6F6 audio tube out and uh, all the way back and buried in here there's a .01. You definitely want to replace this one back here. Another tough one to get to. Uh, it's just going to take a little getting, you know, a little dexterity to be able to get in here. You want that to go. And the next important one is in the RF oscillator stage, which is inside this compartment. And we'll pull the 6C5 out. And there's another one micro mold all the way down inside here. And what you want to do is take two screws. This will go sideways and a little tough again to get to, but you definitely want to replace that. So if you place nothing else other than these, that and that, uh, you're off to a good start. So I hope this was helpful. I hope it gets your BC312 or your 342 going. And uh, happy listening. Thanks for uh, watching.